Hello and welcome to this short video, MATLAB and Macroeconomic Stress Testing. Macroeconomic Stress Testing is an exercise that's primarily driven by central banks but that sits at the very heart of risk processes and risk practices of investment banks today. We're going to give a very brief review of macro stress testing and then through the context of a demo we're going to talk about how MATLAB can play a part in this crucial workflow. So first of all, what is macro stress testing? In the words of the Monetary Authority of Singapore, they talk about identifying risks, external and domestic. And they will then draw on risk assessments from international organizations, such as the IMF or other central banks. They will then develop scenarios. And the scenarios they develop will stress the values for some key risk parameters. We can see a few of those here credit spreads, or even economic growth. And then once these scenarios are generated, they will hand them over to local banks and insurance companies who are then asked to conduct stress tests based on these scenarios to better understand the risks of their portfolios and their capital requirements. As an example of a stress testing scenario, this is from the Bank of England and it conserves the yield curve. It shows historical values of the yield curve together with projected future values of yields. We can see two distinct projections. In blue, a standard projection, and in red, what the Bank of England considers to be a severe future projection to the yield curve with negative yields. The demo we have follows the approach of Diebold, Rudebusch and Aruba. In their paper, The Macroeconomy and the Yield Curve, a dynamic latent factor approach, they showed how they could link certain macroeconomic variables together with certain aspects of the yield curve. In their approach, they had a fairly standard model to the yield curve. And within that, there are three key parameters that define the yield curve, level, slope, and curvature. They would identify these three parameters, and then they would take some macroeconomic variables, Fed's fund rate, inflation, and capacity utilization, and fit them into a vector auto regressive model. So how would we do this in MATLAB using its tried and trusted functionality and toolboxes? This is our relatively simple workflow. Okay? First of all, we need some data. We're going to get data from the Federal Reserve Economic Data Set and we're going to use our data feed toolbox. From there we will download historical values of the yield curve and historical values for our three macroeconomic variables. This is just a chart of historical yield curves that we've loaded. The next step is to fit this yield curve model or estimate our three parameters, L, S and C, level, slope and curvature. It's an optimization problem. I'll go and leverage our optimization toolbox function LSQ nonlin or nonlinear least squares. As a result of that, I will get historical values of level, slope, and curvature. Then for our vector autoregressive model, I will leverage some functionality within the econometrics toolbox. We can quickly fit a vector autoregressive model and then use its predictive capabilities. We're going to use its pure predictive capabilities to generate level, slope, and curvature. We will also put some impulses into the system to create stressed values for level, slope, and curvature. Once we have these, we can predict the yield curve. We, we, can, we can reconstruct the yield curve. This example here shows an impulse response to our vector autoregressive model, showing how all the parameters in our model respond to an impulse in Fed funds rate. I'm now going to step to the, the final step of this uh, workflow, which is to price a portfolio. My portfolio is a portfolio of corporate bonds. I've got around about 2,500 corporate bonds, each of which has a coupon and a maturity. And if I go back to MATLAB, what I can do now is I can price my portfolio of bonds using our financial instruments toolbox. More specifically, I'm using the function bond by zero. So that prices a bond using a zero curve. I'm also leveraging parallel computing to speed up my computations. And what we see here is my result. We have my historical value for my portfolio is based on some historical yield curves and then the red line shows where we've applied our impulse to our macroeconomic scenario. 
then in the future we can see the dashed value of our portfolio where we've had no shock applied to the yield curve and then the solid line shows the portfolio valuation with a shock to our macroeconomic system. Thank you very much.